Are you ready to see or try to see some of the most amazingly camouflaged creatures on Earth? Yes! Good mythical morning! Thank you for joining us today. Now, I love animals just as much as the next guy. That may not be true. I love them more than the next guy. I love animals that you can't see. Invisible? No, camouflaged animals. Oh. So what I've got is I've amassed some videos of amazingly camouflaged You're not bringing animals. them in? You're not bringing them in? I it's, thought this was a bring in the animals episode. What a disappointment, this I'm is leaving. A, this is a cut to really cool clips of camouflaged animals. Are you in? I'm in, I'm all okay. about this. Let's do it. First one, the leaf-tailed gecko, AKA the satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Oh can flatten itself out against a tree. Yeah, that is satanic. And look just like one. So they flatten, he's flattened his foot out. Mm -hmm. And then there's his face. That is demonic. But watch this. Boop. Right down there next to the tree. And then check this out. There he is on the limb. No, that's not real. And then this, this lemur comes down there and doesn't even see him. Yep, yep. Look, and then he's like, ha ha, didn't see me. Do they have that him at the pet store? I do not think so. I don't know though. Bummer. Is that what you're, 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 you're gonna pet some of these? Like as a verb, you're gonna get them as a pet? I mean, I'm gonna wonder if each one of these is at the pet store. The common barren butterfly. Oh. Now this thing looks like mud as a butterfly. Yeah, no big deal, just common. But the thing is, as a caterpillar, it has an amazing camouflage. Look at this, just a normal leaf, right? And then you zoom in here, and that that is the caterpillar in the center of a leaf and the stripe down his back goes down the center of the stripe which is the leaf. What? Look at that. No. Yeah, man. Yeah. No. That's a caterpillar. Those are his legs and that's his, that's his body in the middle and his legs going out on the side. There. And he's gonna turn into a butterfly at some point. That's what caterpillars do. He's native to India and Southeast Asia. And he's not available for purchase either. I, I'm sorry, I didn't do that line of research. I didn't know you were in the market for a camouflaged creature. Mm -hmm. The kids would love it. I could tell them I've got a camouflaged animal and then not have it. Now, you, you've seen butterflies that have amazing eyeballs. Yeah, e every day. On their back, they're not real eyeballs. It's just like paintings on the back of their wings well, kind of a thing. They're not really paintings. Right. <laughs> now, the owl butterfly is the most exceptional version of this that I could find. Okay. Look at this. This is like the head oh of an my owl. Oh my goodness. It looks like a disembodied owl head on a tree limb. I mean, it's just an owl staring at a tree. Look, where's his body? I don't know, I don't care. I'm definitely not gonna how, try to eat it. How is this an effective, is it look like a decapitated, how does looking like a decapitated owl, how is that a defense? Would you wanna eat a decapitated owl? No. Or actually a disembodied owl is actually what it is. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, that would be freaky. I wouldn't have that as a pet. Mm -mm. My kids wouldn't be able to sleep. Now the next one I'm going for, I, I had to include the obvious chameleon. I used to catch these. Now these things change color pretty slowly. This this video is sped up. You see him, he went from being totally green to his the bottom of him turns orange, but if you add Ray-Bans and a lot of visual effects and make a fake viral video, it happens really quickly. This is a viral video of... This one is? This is a viral video of selling Ray-Bans. Basically, you put Ray-Bans in front of the iguana and he starts to turn the color of the Ray-Bans. That does not make me wanna buy Ray-Bans. That's not how you advertise sunglasses to me. Okay, moving on, let's go underwater now. Ooh. The stonefish, can you guess what it looks like? Uh, a stone. Bingo! You're a genius, Rhett. All right, this thing looks like a stone and then a fish goes by and then it just sucks it right up. Camouflage like a rock is the most venomous fish currently known in the world. Does it have fangs? It's got spikes on it. Listen to this, here's a quote from a guy. I got spiked on the finger by a stonefish in Australia. Never mind a bee sting, imagine having an each knuckle, then the wrist, elbow, and shoulder being hit in turn with a sledgehammer over the course of about an hour. Then an hour later, imagine taking a real kicking to both kidneys for about 45 minutes so that you couldn't stand or straighten up. I was in late 20s, pretty fit physically, and this was the tiniest of nicks. 
Got sensation back in my finger after a few days, but had recurrent kidney pains periodically for several years afterward. Do so not step on a stonefish. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is the pale-throated sloth. Now, sloth, oh. they move slowly, right? They move so slowly that algae grows on them and they grow camouflage on their bodies. I'm familiar with the dark-throated sloth, but the pale-throated, that is a new thing for me. It looks like a tree. And also, this one looks, is blending in with Brett Michaels. It's actually not blending in very well. Okay, next, this is an amazing one, the cuttlefish. Now, our friend uh, Zay Frank creates all these true facts about animals videos and he did one about the cuttlefish, talking about how they can assume the pattern of anything in the ocean, but they are also colorblind. This is just, this is magic. There are certain situations where even the most, the biggest and brightest scientists, they just say, this is magic. And that's what they said about the cuttlefish. It has been definitively concluded by the scientific community that the cuttlefish is magic. Okay, um, you've probably seen this next one. The Katie did, AKA the leaf bug. I mean, this is amazing. It is a leaf with legs. Well, that's what it wants you to think. It's actually just a, it's a bug. But but look at those wings, man. I mean, that is phenomenal. It's uncanny. Now that thing it's standing on is actually just another Katie did. <laughs> it doesn't look, it looks a lot like other Katie did is really what this video is trying to say. I, uh, I would have a tough time swatting this thing, like if it, if it landed on me. You know, this is, when I kill a spider, I'm just like, eh, another spider. But if this thing that looked like a leaf landed on me, I would be like, somebody come and Take, take a leaf. picture. Oh, yeah, you don't wanna destroy it because it's like a work of art. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, check this out. The orchid mantis, AKA the orchid mantis, if you don't know how to pronounce orchid. <laughs> that in the middle there. Is an orchid. Is a mantis. What? There's a mantis in there, dude. Look, he's just waiting for something to fly in there so he can eat it. Look, that's a, that's the a leg of a mantis. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. crazy. All right. And last but not loser. <laughs> last but not loser. <laughs> Indonesian mimic octopus. This thing is truly the most amazing camouflageable creature in the world. Now what it does is it not only impersonates different environments, but it impersonates other animals in the way that they look and the way that they behave. I had a dog that did that. Uh, they were discovered off the coast of Indonesia in the early 90s. In the and, early 90s? Yeah, so recently. Okay, so you can see how all of a sudden, if something comes up on it, boom, it gets huge, it can get, it can turn into a menacing black thing or a stripe type of thing. It can put all its legs behind it and look like a poisonous skate or like a flounder. So here it's impersonating a tigerfish. Lionfish. Did fish. I just say that? <laughs> this is a tigerfish. I cannot say lionfish. Lionfish. Every time fish. I try to say lionfish, I say tigerfish. <laughs> say lionfish. Do you think it, I mean. It, what, this last one here, it's impersonating something, they don't know what it is, but it looks like it's just something running along the bottom of the ocean. What? Here. What? <laughs> That's an octopus? Yeah, with, look, two legs, like it's walking on the bottom of the ocean. Look at that. They don't know what the, what it's doing there, but it's it's just having fun with for the camera at that point. You, I mean, you think this thing really knows what's what it's doing? It can't be like I'm going to look like that. It's not that smart. I mean, no, it's an octopus. I mean, it's just going off of off of instinct. I mean, I can't even do that, and I have a. Huge Are you brain. not amazed? You know what time it is. Hi, my name's Lizzie, aka Soundproof Liz from Austin, Texas, and um, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Are you following us on Instagram? I mean, we don't post pictures of camouflage animals yet, but we do post pictures of miniature horses, and they can be camouflaged if they're standing in front of a bigger horse. <laughs> Waffles and Think things about like that. that. Yep. Cowboys eating beans around a campfire. Man. Hey, 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 quiet, quiet. You see that over there on the other side of the flames? Is it an owl? Because that's what I was calling. No, it's an owl head. What? It's just an owl's head. It's a floating owl's head. Got any explanations for that? No, but I got some beans I'm gonna throw on it. 
Yeah, throw, grab, the, throw the beans at it. Grab throw some it. hot beans. I got it. On the fire. Yeah. One, two, two Geronimo. Three. Oh. It was it's a, just a butterfly. Look. No, no. Hey. No. It was just a butterfly. No, that's, a, that's an octopus acting like a butterfly. Really? Yeah. Hold your breath. Start at 40, okay? Hyperventilate a little bit. I'll tell you when to start. You, you, you tell me when you're ready. 